Good day, good folks. Detective Dusa on the case today. We're playing Scene Investigators. Um, this is a demo for a game that's, I think, supposed to come out later this year. Um, yes, so we solve crimes. We're an investigator. <laughs> uh, scene Investigators is a deductive reasoning game for fans of the true crime genre. Step into recreated crime scenes, observe closely for pieces of evidence, analyze possible motives behind the crimes, and uncover what truly happened. This case is one of a dinner party five friends and acquaintances have gathered for a meal. Someone was murdered. All the clues are in the scene. Can you solve the case? Submit your answers to a computer and see if the case is truly solved. So yes, we got murder on our hands. Um, yeah, let's go, I guess. We'll run, crouch, flashlight, back, examine, interact, zoom. Okay. Oh, okay. Observe the scene and answer questions in the respective text boxes. Please start when you're ready to begin. Oh, we actually... Oh, this is cool. This not So we actually have to type things in and it's not like a multiple choice. Oh, cool. Okay. Who sat in chair number five? Actually, let me get a book. So yeah, we have to see who sat in chair number five, who sat in chair number two, who's Clara's cousin, who died. Apparently we don't know who died and who the killer is. Okay, nice. Wow, okay. Whoa, I'm so tall! I feel like we're like seven feet tall. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this height. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what? I can't. Happy birth. Oh, there we go. Happy birthday to you. Oh, someone's birthday? This is a birthday dinner? To the most beautiful. I can't read. To the most beautiful woman in the world, I think. Nice. Can we get on the computer? Oh, we can. Oh, we were just here. Doy, do. Oh, the chairs are numbered. Oh my gosh. What happened here? Oh, no. Okay. All right. So, this one's knocked over. Two. So there's four people at this dinner table? One, two, four. Yeah, because there's f there's two glasses of wine, one glass of, uh, I guess that's orange juice, and then one spilt one. Okay. I'll check that out in a minute. Let me look around. Oh, what's this? Oh! Wait, what? Valet parking. Oh my gosh, my mouth's so sensitive. Date. February 14th. Wait, is that Valentine's Day? Is February 14th Valentine's Day? Uh, I think so. So, uh, from 6 49 p.m. to 8 20. Maybe, uh, like, like a Valentine's Day dinner? Okay. It's locked and doors inaccessible for the demo. Oh, okay. Yeah, this game is just a demo. I don't know if I already said that. Oh, a purse. Oh, we can look inside? Nice. Oh. Okay, what do we have? What is this? Matches? Oh, this is from the uh, valet parking or the restaurant or whatever it is. Okay. Um. Pink lilac? Lilac? Lilac. Oh, lipstick. Oh, lipstick. Ooh. This lipstick looks fake. It's like a toy or something. Can I see the bottom? What shade is this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and what's this? Oh, she's uh, trying to quit smoking. So she's a smoker? Or is for someone else? Nicotine patch. Yeah, okay. Dip it back up? Okay. <laughs> nice to know. We got a calendar. Clara's birthday, April 22nd. So th today, wait, did it, was this a birthday dinner? Did, we, did I say that? Okay, yeah, so today is April 22nd. Okay, can I flip through this? Oh, yeah, I can. February. Clara leaves for LA. Clara returns from LA. Valentine's Day, I think. 
Um, wait. Whose house is this? Clara's house? No, wait. Why would this... Why would Clara put Clara leaves... Why is she talking third person if this is her house? <laughs> I don't know. Doctor's appointment, March 13th. Whose house is this? Clara's birthday. Yeah, okay, I think this is... Well, the present is... Is, uh... To the most beautiful woman. So I think this is like her lover's house. Husband, boyfriend, whoever. Girlfriend, maybe girlfriend, wife. Guest list. Jake, Edwin, Jenny. For the dinner party? We have Jake, Edwin, Jenny. Clara. Mystery person's house. This is... Okay. Wait. There's five people- there's five people here? There's only four at the dinner party. Okay. Um... <laughs> I think I'm being dumb. Oh, I can open this? Wait. I can open it, but I can't grab anything. Oh, trash? Oh! What? I did not. Okay. Oh. R to read? What's this? EQS Pharmacy. Turkey Pen Road! Oh, New Brooklyn, New York. Oh, and we got a phone number. Should I write that down? We should write the phone number down. That sounds smart. Warnings. Liver warning. This product contains, contains ben, benzocene. Benzex. What? Ben. I don't know. Benz, benzocene. <laughs> I can't. Uh, severe liver damage may occur if you take more than four milligrams. Okay. Other drugs. Okay. Three more alcohol drinks every day. What this product? Wait. Three or more alcoholic drinks every day while using this product. Do not take more than. Okay. So you can drink alcohol with this product, but you cannot take more than this at any given time while drinking alcohol. Okay. 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 So you can drink alcohol. This. Uh, pain is the worst, blah, blah, blah. Symptoms may include vomiting, internal bleeding, and dizziness. DRJ Hayes. Oh, should we write the, the same down? Dr. Dr. R.J. Hayes. No refills. Okay. But it's like, it's April. Wait, what day is it? What's the, what's day say? April 22nd. Wait, what is this? What is this? Uh, what is this for, though? Oh, I don't know what this medication is for. Let's just see if I can interact with anything. Maybe we should put a pot of tea on the stove. Coffee? Anyone? Oh no! Yes. Hi, honey. I'm out shopping. Okay, yeah. So this is Lover's house. Wait. But who wrote this? Hey, honey. I'm out shopping. Would you mind setting the table, please? Rem remember, my cousin can't drink wine. Serve him orange juice instead. Okay. So cousin is a boy. And orange juice instead. Ed is left-handed. Oh, these are the guests. Okay, so we have... Who's... Okay, so it's Jake, right? Because Jenny is female, uh, I'm guessing. Edwin is the left-handed person, and Jake is cousin. So Claire is cousin. So, okay, so Claire wrote the note. She's out shopping. Clara wrote the note. So this is Clara and Lover's house. Or, yes, yeah, because her purse is here. So they live together. They live together. Okay. <laughs> yes. So maybe they're married. Or not. They don't have to be married. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna write down... Clara's cousin is... What's his name? What's his name? I forgot. Jake. Jake did Jake. Okay, so... And then... Edwin is left-handed. So let's see. Maybe he's in seat two or... Was it? We need five or two. Okay, so... F oh, five is orange juice. So that's Jake. Right? Jake, he can't have alcohol. And 
Number two. Number two is dead. So, oh, well, no, no, no. Number three is dead. <laughs> I don't know. Number two. Full glass of wine. Who sat here? Left handed. Left handed. Okay, so let's see where the fork and knife are. This doesn't say anything. Left handed. Oh, maybe the, the one says he's left handed. The glass is on the left side. This is on the right side, right side, right side. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So maybe number two is Edwin. Edwin. I'm guessing. We'll, we'll find more clues. Maybe that will solidify um, that. Oh, what's this? Oh, 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 wallet? Who's this? Henry Gibson. I mean, wait. Clara's husband, maybe? Boyfriend? So, yeah. I think, because it's sitting on the counter. A uh, Henry Gibson. Uh. Okay. Edwin Briggs. Wait, Edwin as in Edwin the guest? Edwin? Law off office Edwin Briggs PC. Lawyer. Well, this, this is okay. Hospital. Dr. Terry Charleston. Bronx, New York. So they're in New York, obviously. I can't. Hello? I couldn't flip it. <laughs> okay. And whose wallet is this? 20, 2003? Oh. oh, it's not a wallet, it's a planner. Oh, Valentine's Day. February uh, 14th. Make reservations. Another number? Reservations. Oh, Valentine's Day reservations. Should you see if it matches the parking ticket? Let me write this down. Okay, so. Uh, uh, 13. Appointment with Dr. Richardson. This is the appointment on the calendar. Dinner with company members, March 27th. 22, Clara's birthday. I'm guessing this appointment thing is, um... Wait. Appointment thing is... This is important. It keeps popping up. A mouse? Okay. Well, this is a different doctor, though. Oh, that's a director. Wait! Wait, wait, what did it say? Abortion clinic? Abortion clinic? Claire is pregnant? Uh, sorry, I'm getting on my keys. Can I flip the page? Um... Abor is this the appointment for an abortion? Oh, hold on, let me check the... I can read this. Happy birthday to you. It's that time of year again. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Clara. Thank you for your support Why I was in AA. Oh, Alcohol Anonymous. Wait, I forgot what AA stands for, but the alcohol. Alcohol Anonymous? <laughs> oh, no. Henry is so fortunate to have you. Hope you have a great year. Jake. Oh, this is from Jake. So, yeah, so he can't have alcohol. Oh, that's why he has orange juice. Yay. Yes. Oh, what? Ooh. That may or may not look good. Okay. Um, turn on TV. Oh. Oh shoot. Who is who's this? Henry? No. Who are these boys? Nice. Oh, any. Uh, scanning books. The red sky. Simple physics. The th the thorny path. You got two copies of the red sky. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's like agri uh, agriculture, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm just like snooping now. I got all these names. Doctor Santa. I mean, <laughs> wait. Oh, the Godmother. <laughs> that's funny. This and Crane forward. Okay, nice. Anything here I could... What are these? Oh, VHS tapes. The undergraduate. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm just scanning, see if I can... Is there, like, secrets and stuff? Okay, um... 
Oh wait, is there rooms back here? I can I go in? Oh, okay. How about these? I just want to make sure. Okay, so we gotta stay in the kitchen. Then look through the cereals and stuff. Then look through here. Um, um. Oh! Nothing. Step stool. Can we open the fridges? The fridges, I meant fridge. We have a flashlight or something. Okay, okay. I. Is this it? There's no more clues. Hmm. This note doesn't say anything about Jenny. Jenny's on the guest list. Um, who's Jenny then? There's no number in this. The Fantasy Amour. I don't know. I don't know. Dun, dun. <gasps> yeah. Okay, Clara Gibson. Heather Brown. Uh, okay. Oh, read it. Oh. This is to Clara from Heather. Who? Now, who's Heather? Oh! oh. Clara, dear, it's been uh, it's been a month since you came to visit me. Remember what we talked about? I think it's time you end things with him. You've endured for far too long and need to move on. Think about it, Rami. Back, mom. What? Henry? Something wrong with Henry? The red sky. Another copy of the red sky. Hmm. Oh, can we see anything under the couch? Sneak. So something wait pretty Okay So what Wait Oh there's lipstick on this glass I should have examined these things more carefully so Clara is number three. Clara died? Clara died? Okay, so wait. Because it's like, bleh, right? Bleh. And then this is knocked over. And maybe, uh, who, who, is, who said it was number two? Edwin, and was like, oh my God. And then the chair fell down, right? Like, what's happening, Clara? And then number four, who's number four? Um, number five, Jake. I'm confused though. There's four glasses, but there should be five people at the dinner party. Someone's sitting here, but there's, there's no food on this. Maybe someone didn't make it? Dinner party. Dun, dun, dun. And okay, four. So four is either Henry or Ginny. Because five is Jake Orange Juice. Three is Clara because lipstick and this is her house. So this is her purse, right? So we have uh, Jake, Clara. Edwin, Jake, Claire, Edwin. This is Henry or Jenny. Well, it has to be Henry. Because he's here. What in the world? Okay, so let's see. Who died? Clara. Okay, so we have... Let's, let's go to the computer. So, who sat in chair five? Uh, I think it's Jake. Who's sat in chair two? Edwin, because he's left-handed. Jake, because orange shoes, he can't have alcohol. Who's Clara's cousin? Jake, because she said so. And who died? Clara, I think, because the lipstick, and she has lipstick in her purse, and this is her house, or they live together, her and Henry. I think Henry's the husband, because wallet on the table. Yes. And killer? I don't know. Who has motive? 
don't want to submit it yet. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Okay, but what? How? How she die? How she die? She choke. It's not. I think I see what the. Hmm. A poison? Wait. Maybe something to do with the this. Doctor. Uh, symptoms may cause vomiting, internal bleeding. Is she vomiting blood? From she's vomiting and this blood cause internal bleeding. Is that is this what it means? I don't want. <laughs> I want more clues. Claire's birthday. Doctor appointment. Clara returns from LA. Why she leave? I think this is important. Like, why she leave for like almost a week? Was it to see her mom? Or to the abortion clinic? Is this important? Heather Brown's Heather Brown, her mom. I'm guessing. Oh, I can't move this. It's been a month since you visited me. Remember what we talked about? I think it's time you end things with him. A month. Okay, so let's let's say she was gone to visit her mom in a month. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm thinking. So I'm gonna say Heather mom is... Oh yeah, LA. Yeah. Okay, okay. She went to LA. Yes, for a week. And I'm guessing Heather Brown... Oh, Heather Brown? Heather Brown's her mom. This is the letter that was in here. So, her mom. But then, what is this parking ticket for February? Valentine's Day. It can be Clara's because she wasn't here. Because this is this is in New York, yeah, New York City. And then this is Clara's. No, no, no. Yeah, she'll be gone. Henry. And Hen what was Henry doing? Hmm. Henry, you cheating on our girl Clara? Is this what it is? Is that what? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, suspicious. Suspicious, suspicious. Jenny? Maybe Jenny is the, is the one he's cheating on with? And he's like, Jenny's just a friend, Clara. <laughs> She's just a friend. She's a work friend, you know? You know kind of thing? But I don't. I don't have motive. There's no motive. Who? Why would someone kill Clara? If if Henry is cheating, then he will want to kill Clara to get rid of her. Wait, abortion. <laughs> abortion clinic. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, my mouse. Why would he have this? Yeah, so they live together. His address is Forest Hills, and Claire lives in Forest Hill. Is there a phone I can call, maybe? I can call the numbers. Oh, yeah, here, here we go. Oh, what? I can't use this? I can't use it? Oh, man. I was gonna call some numbers. I thought I was, I was being smart. Oh, I can turn the TV on. Okay, <laughs> I'll go watch some news or something. Alright, so... Nothing's confirmed, but Henry might be cheating on Clara, because uh, she was out visiting her mom a week of Valentine's Day. There's a valet parking ticket for during Valentine's Day, 
and it has to be Henry's because he's the only person that lives here, I think. And wait, is Jenny Sarah's sister? Uh, not Sarah. Jenny Clara's sister. I don't know. Okay, and Henry got the girl that he's cheating with pregnant. And he's like, no, can't have that. You have to get rid of the baby. And so that's why he has the abortion card because he's call calling the shots. He's like, no, you got, I'm going to set up an appointment at the abortion clinic. You're going to get rid of that baby. So, <laughs> yeah. And, okay, let's assume, okay. Jenny is the, let's assume Jenny is the girl Henry is cheating with. Okay. Henry got Jenny pregnant. Okay. Henry wants Jenny. J, Henry wants to get rid of the baby, but Jenny doesn't want to get rid of the baby, and so now Jenny wants to kill Clara to get her out of the picture, so her and Henry could raise a family together. But we don't even know if she's at the dinner party. So I think, so I think the game wants us to guess Henry, but I don't think Henry is correct. I don't think so. Cause the other But who's Jenny? There's no information who Jenny is. Like who sat here? Jenny, Henry, and like uh... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. It says water resistant leaves no marks and no smears. So Oh wait, okay. Okay. Maybe this is not Clara's purse. Maybe this is Jenny's purse. Or Jenny. Okay, maybe this is Jenny's purse? Oh, I didn't know- how would I, we know it's Jenny's purse? Okay, so I was assuming this is Claire's purse, but it could be Jenny's purse. And like, that- Yes, okay, yeah. This is Jenny's purse, cause like, this matches this fun- Fantasia, whatever, and more and matches this valet park it. Yeah. Okay, so this confirms Jenny and Henry met on Valentine's Day, which means they probably went on a date because they're, you know, they're cheating. But Henry's cheating on Clara with Jenny. And she wears red lipstick, but her doesn't smear. So is it Jenny? Cause who else would it be? No, wait a minute. Look, the glass was here. They moved the glass. I don't know. I don't know if that means because Henry, uh, uh, Henry's like, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, Edwin's left-handed, so I gotta move it to the left. Right? Is that what that means? Or is is it staged to think? So maybe Edwin wasn't here. And this is Jenny? Maybe Jenny was here? If Jenny is pregnant, she can't drink wine. If she didn't go through with the abortion- Okay, my mouse is going crazy. If she didn't- if she, Jenny is pregnant and she didn't go through abortion, she's still pregnant, obviously. And she can't drink wine because she's pregnant. And this is where she sat. Right? And so Jenny sat here instead. Uh, she moved the cup to the left side thinking to make them think Edwin was here but he wasn't or he couldn't make it maybe okay let's just let's just try it out okay so so let's uh let's just put Henry let's just see so let's go with our original guesses I don't think it's Henry I'm gonna say Jenny I'm gonna say Jenny Jake Edwin Jake Claire Jenny yeah, okay. Now what? What happens? Oh, I got four out of five correct? Oh, it doesn't tell me? Uh-oh. Okay, so... Let's do... What we know. For a fact. Who's in ch chair number five was Jake. Because he has orange juice because he can't drink... Alcohol. Who is Claire's cousin? Jake, because she said in the note that her cousin can't drink alcohol to get orange juice. And orange juice at seat number five. And who's sitting at seat number five? Jake. Okay. Who died? Uh, Clara. Okay. We assume Clara because 
the glass next to the dead body has lipstick on it. And the only other female that's supposed to be at the party is Jenny. And Jenny, we gonna assume that green purse in the hanger is Jenny. So in that purse, there's a lipstick that's smudge proof. And so we assume that's Jenny's smudge proof lipstick. So her lipstick can't even be on the glass. Okay. So yes. So we assume Claire is one who died and not Jenny. Now, who's in seat number two? So the wine glass is on the left side, making us think it's Edwin because he's left-handed, right? However, there is a ring, a water ring on the right corner, like it was sitting there, like it was condensating. And then someone moved it to the left side, making us think maybe Edwin sat there because he's left-handed. But it was moved. Unless Henry did that after he read the note on the fridge because he had dumb dumb and he forgot. But the wine glass is full. And so if Jenny is actually pregnant, didn't go through the abortion, um, she can't drink wine because she is pregnant. And she moved the wine glass to the left side, making us throwing us off, making it think it was Edwin who sat there and not Jenny. Okay. So we're gonna say who sat in chair number two? Jenny. Okay, she moved the wine glass to throw us off. And the wine glass is full because she's pregnant. Okay, that's what what we're saying, number two. Now who's the killer? Who has motive to kill? The only two who have motive to kill so that we can see from clues is Henry and Jenny. Okay. Henry I don't think he wants to kill Clara. He just wants to get rid of the baby Jenny is carrying, and that's why he has the abortion thing. I don't think he has motive I don't think he wants to kill Clara. I think he wants to have both women, you know? Just no baby. But Jenny, she wants to have Henry to herself and the baby and start family family with Henry. Is his name Henry? Am I just making his name up? I think his name's Henry. She she hasn't told Henry that she didn't go through with an abortion to and she's just gonna kill Clara, you know, cut Clara out of the picture. There's no competition. And so, and that's why she poisoned Clara. And also, I don't know if this matters, but in real life, women who kill people usually do like poison or something more subtle, less physical. You know, men would use knives, strangling guns and stuff. Women usually go towards poison. So with that being said, Jenny has more motive to kill Clara. And I think she was poisoned because there's the pill bottle in the trash can and there's no uh, murder weapon found, right? Yes, so we're gonna say Jenny. <laughs> okay. All right, deductive skills? Don't disappoint me. What, huh? I said submit, boy, that was so anticlimactic. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a prodigy. Well, <laughs> Maybe not prodigy. I'm a little too old. I'm almost 26. But we're so smart. Oh, we're the next Sherlock Holmes. We did it. And that's it for the demo. Because, yeah, we put in the wrong answer. So, you know, this is it. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, that was fun. Um, That took more, like, I guess, deductive skills than, like, actual clues you could find. There's a lot of assuming going on, like, guessing and stuff. But... There's three hard facts, um, and two kind of you have to maybe deduct from things in your surrounding, piece things together. But yeah, that was fun. I like playing detective. I like puzzles and stuff. That'll be it for this episode because that's all there is to the game. It's just a demo. They they do have a Kickstarter going on. I guess I can link that in the bottom if you guys want to check it out. Um, but I'm guessing there's gonna be like multiple scenarios, scene, crime scenes and stuff, I guess multiple chapters or whatever in the full release game. But yeah, this was fun. I will probably will play the other episodes or other scenes when the full game comes out. But yeah, until then, this is it for now. So, till next time. Bye!